there, Jay. It's Joel Pam and Jay here, and I'm sitting with the cast of My Virtual Escape. Woo! We're in Hawaii right now, guys. We're sitting on the deck of this beautiful view, but we decided to take a moment to do a cast question and answer. So I took the Twitter. We still have two episodes left of the series, so I'm actually going to do a one-on-one -on -one Q and A after the, this section, just to answer any uh, dying questions that uh, you guys have lingering after the series ends. I'm sure there will be a lot. Um, but we're going to jump right into it. You guys are going to get to hear from your favorite characters, maybe even get a glimpse of what they're like off camera, and just get to hear about the process and all this other stuff, as well as I think by now you guys have seen the behind the scenes, so you have a little more insight, maybe whatever's been answered. Uh, we're going to kick it right off, guys. We have lots of questions, and for those that ask, you'll be featured right down here. I'm going to screenshot your tweet and put that there, so good stuff, guys. Um, all right, we're kicking off right with uh, Mary Sunstone. She asks... Was it easy or hard switching from normal Abraham to Arachnid as character personalities? That's for Uncle Larry. From a Abraham to Arachnid? Yes. I, th I think it was easy to do Arachnid. It was harder to do Abraham. That's just the way it was. It was like, I think it was easier to get in that mad, that mad kind of... So, so anger case. Who are you more? talking to? <laughs> Stupid mother. It's easy to jump into, whereas Abraham kind of is like more a little wishy-washy. Yeah, yeah, it was wishy-washy, and it, and it depends. Abraham is, a lot of times you had me filming Abraham with Noah. Right, right. And right. that was really difficult. Right, because there was really no other reason to see Abraham. We got to see him a lot in the most recent episode of Tangled Web. Um, what was that like, shooting kind of the, the origin story? I was like, about time. I wanted you guys to get the backstory. <laughs> yeah. And it was nice to go back and have hair. <laughs> I, I did kind of appreciate that. <laughs> Not gonna Very lie. different That's flavors of hair. Perfect hair. Um, cool. So the next question is, uh, what was your most favorite episode in the world to film and why? I'll answer that question. I'm going to say Brothers in Arms just because it was a crazy day for those that were there. It was like we had 15 of us like at different times and we shot from like early in the morning till literally the sun setting and then torrential downpour and snow and it was like freezing and just people were getting hit <laughs> like it was like wild but it was hard as anything directing a huge bunch like that but it was also the most rewarding it was a super it was a super good time oh, jesus yeah. would you agree with filming yeah, that one brothers and one was definitely like my favorite episode of the film like the cinematic and everything that came afterwards and the snow at the end it was a long day process yeah. but it was great definitely my favorite episode I can remember when we got there, because I remember telling you, hey, you know, I, I might hurt one of these guys with, <laughs> with the numbers. Yeah, we, we got out there, they were like, yo, is there, you cool with us hitting? Yeah, like, yeah I told know. them, I, I said, it's not a matter if you're going to get hit, you're probably going to get hit, and they're like, hit me. I was like, all right. I, I was sore for like a week after and, he hit me. And I actually <laughs> broke the nunchucks <laughs> on somebody. Was over? I forget who was it was, was, but it cracked it right in half. And that was one of those things where like after we shot that whole episode, we would get screenshots sent to or like pictures of their like bruises and, and scars and Jesus, stuff. Jesus, like, for example, Jesus, I, I had to hit him like in the back of the leg. And when I hit him, the next time we had to retake it, he's like, please don't hit me in the same spot again. <laughs> yeah. So I had to try to hit him in a different spot. Anyone else have a favorite episode as far as the filming of it went? I think for that one, it was the same episode for me. And I say that because I remember in the Devil Inside series, when you had come over and we were gonna be filming the uh, Psycho series two at the house, you would walk back there and you and I had filmed a scene where there was a smashing of a bottle and a threatening there. But you had looked at it prior to that and had said, yo, can I film here? and you're getting super excited about it. And it's nice to have finally seen that come to fruition in the form of that episode. Yeah, yeah. Because that for me, of a filming aspect, that was what I was looking forward to most. And yeah. Was really it's satisfied. always cool to see the seeds grow into the whole tree, like over time. But yeah, we had filmed, I forget what Devil Inside episode, but I smashed a bottle over a tree and hold it to, to Jeffrey's neck because Isaac is desperate to uh, get some validation in his life through Psycho Series 2. That's what I'm gonna love Jesse for. Um, all right, let's move on. Uh, this is actually for Swift, so I'll take the camera real quick. How did it feel for your character to go from the underdog to the last remaining member of the Brotherhood? <laughs> well, I'd like to say I was the last brother, but there's some... Adam bot. doesn't count. He doesn't he count? Does oh, count? thank God. Uh, well, that's what happens when you play on ranked and when everybody else dies, it's time to flip the switch and become the man of the group. How did it feel, how did it feel from behind, on the behind the scenes, just as Swift, like, did you feel like Gingy, you know? Oh, dude, I, I felt like Gingy, and when we were filming mine and Dom's fight, I legit wanted to kill Adam. 
I, I legit got into that character. He, he, he really wanted to kill me. Like, he genuinely wanted to. I saw it in his eyes. We were all concerned about that. Yeah. <laughs> but you feel, would you say, you, you felt... Uh, I'm sorry, I was getting to Genji real quick. Did you quick. feel vindicated having known that you started as literally like the scrub where everybody kind of picked on you and all that stuff to then in the end being the last... Oh, it felt good. I didn't see that coming. It wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> but yeah, it felt good being the last man standing. Sweet. Well, in the brotherhood, at yeah, least. Yeah, guys. Genji. Um... This is a question for me. What inspired you to create the Isaac character? Believe it or not, there was a YouTuber blowing up at the time when the second series ended named Leafy is here. He was this really edgy um, YouTuber. He had dark hair and like, I don't know, I watched some of his videos. I was like, he's interesting. Like, he is, I feel like I can't get a read on him and it seems like he's he's got the dark brooding mystery to him and I was like, you know, like the whole emo thing, playing that up, it's just engaging to me. And I saw how fans, like his channel blew up. He had 5 million subscribers in a matter of months. So I was like, wow, people are responding to this. Like girls are responding to it in a kind of like a weird kind of provocative way. Like, ooh, intrigue. And then guys were like, yeah, I'm emotional too. I'm on the internet. But and like he, he comes out with it or they hate on him. Either way, he listed a response. So that's what inspired Isaac, to be honest. Um, as well as there's some biblical influence and uh, but that it was literally leafy at a base a core level so if you guys want to tweet that to him he'll be like what the f sure. all right next question was there anything that you did not like about my virtual escape i'll i'll open this one up so then everyone feels comfortable sh shitting all over it um <laughs> the biggest thing i didn't like is the fact that like the production of it was a lot so you know from writing it to filming it to editing it to acting in it and then directing everyone for me it was a huge workload with not much result you know we weren't making any money I actually lost money on this series um, it, it was such a heavy turnaround it was such a lot of pressure from the audience because we kept one upping so that's something I'm not going to miss it's just that crazy like Oh, I, got, I have one day to write this episode, I have two days to shoot it, and I have three days to edit, you know, something like that. And it was just like so ridiculous of a turnaround. Like, if you're going to be doing YouTube or a series, having that level of production value is just shooting yourself in the foot. I wouldn't change a thing, but that's something that, like, I just genuinely did not like about it. I didn't like that it had to end, personally. <laughs> You know, why does it have to end? I, I know. What about season two? I, oh. I know I didn't like the really long nights. Uh, yeah. Like yeah, the one yeah. time when we got done at six o'clock in the morning, I really didn't particularly care. That was for that. the heist, for the record. That yeah. was the heist. You guys saw those BTS. How we yeah. had the coldest winter in like the last five years. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. And I liked every yeah. I had. Yeah. 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 Oh, I forgot. There was another time. I didn't like when it was so cold with me, you, Candace, and. Uh, and Malachi yeah. was there. It was so freaking cold. I, I had to keep feeling my head because I was thinking I was getting frostbite. And then <laughs> Gingy put his arm around me to keep me warm. Oh, and, that's that, cool. and that was oh, and that was really oh, nice. nice. So he started rubbing me, and then I was like, "Yo, you gotta stop that." Nice. He just yeah, ran up. I had, to, uh, I had to cut my uh, pants open for that scene, and then we started pouring the blood you in there. You were laying on the ground. Yeah, I was laying on the ground. I felt so cold that night. That was actually a really, was, really uh, long we, night. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You probably saw the BTS. We had we would only be able to film for like. 15 minutes and then we'd have to run back inside and warm up for like yeah. five or ten yeah. and then go back it was crazy but yeah guys that's why the overlord ac joe kind of came about because it was like five six months of just straight winter it was kind of yeah. unreal yeah. and figures it was all outdoor stuff um i want to say another thing i didn't like i didn't like the fact that it was scripted i think everyone can yeah. unanimously right, agree George? I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> talk about that for a second <laughs> what i didn't like trying to remember the first line <laughs> Because after, uh, after Isaac here went over and explained everything, I try to remember everything I get to the end. I have it pretty much down, and then I forget what the heck he said in the beginning. I could never get the first what the first the, line right. What was the one line that he kept screwing up, and then you were like, all right, let's intentionally screw it up. It was, uh, oh, oh. Uh, it yeah. was like vulnerable, 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 vulnerable. Because vulnerable, 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 vulnerable. 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 it was a little girl, so it was like you could kind of play off that of like maybe she doesn't know this big word or whatever. So, but yeah, I, I mean, everyone had trouble with, and it was the first line or even just like yes. it, we, we referred to it as the brick. I would have like just straight lines, like my dad, like Mr. Solver. <laughs> I think everyone struggled with that because like everything before that was improv. Suddenly it's like, yo, here's a script, and guess what? You're not getting it like two weeks before and you're getting it that second yeah so that's that's along with like acting it out it's not just memorizing you actually have to put the tone or even with solomon's case you know you have to do the voice to it too 
So then it gets it's to right. be. It's <laughs> right, it's right. <laughs> My worst so, night yeah. is when I got killed, and Larry drug me down his back steps. <laughs> and With a smile on the face. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I dropped her. <laughs> <laughs> and then, remember I passed gas? Yeah. yeah. Passed gas. The more yeah. I laughed, the more I got farted. And, uh, <laughs> and Isaac just... drug me down the same steps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Except, I don't. I, th I think Mother Sarah's, we didn't show like when you dragged her down the stairs. I right. think it looked too ridiculous, but that was probably the most violent. Oh, it that's was. The, that's the thing, guys. Mean that shed? Yeah, the stunts. The stunts in this series were another thing. Is like, you know, I mean, w you were getting tossed around like, like I even just in Haven, which you guys haven't seen yet, or you have seen it, but we haven't right. showed, edited yet. But yeah. in Haven, you know, just like, yeah, on a concrete, on floor. the concrete, getting yeah. tossed around, getting killed, like throwing your head back, all that. I remember that's Candace amazing. doing her stunt when she got shot in the head. Oh my god, it took forever. <laughs> and then Gigi had the Gigi, same issue yeah. in the, in the, when he first got killed. It's just that like that thrusting of the yeah. head back. It's I remember just... that one time when he thrusted his head back and his arm went up like this. We're like, what, yeah. the, what, what was that? Dying. That's how Gigi dies, okay? Dying is an art form, he dies guys. In style. Um, so moving on from that, uh, where do you get the XP crystals in real life? Were they homemade or product from the store? Those are actually ordered off Amazon. It's just rock candy. Um, next question is uh, Was Solomon's wish based off the little boy from Home Alone, which seeing his family disappeared? Now it's not really based on anything. It was just you know, every character in this series needed to have a reason to escape. And for a little girl, it was like clearly her home life is messed up. So she wanted her family to disappear just because they were they were really bad. It's like she technically already had her escape through VR, but she still spent some of her time in real life. She just wanted she wanted you know maybe different parents or stuff like that. But it's not inspired by Home Alone at all. I didn't even remember that that was a thing. Um, so how did Mary, this is for Mary too, how did Mary too make her hair look gone? Oh. Did you actually shave your head or? That was a bald cap. It took probably about an hour. A lot of blending. It just, yeah, looked really good. And you did that yeah. all yourself? Well, we were out to dinner. No, no, actually Aunt Martha helped the back. The before she suggested I kill myself, <laughs> she um, glued the back for me because I couldn't reach back. Now. We were out to dinner. We have friends that we go out to dinner for our birthdays, and I said, "Oh, Terry, you got to bring that picture up." And one girl said, "I can't look at this. I just can't. Just get away from me." Yeah, I remember. Oh, it I, looks yeah. so real. I posted an Instagram of Mar Rip Mary too, and I think that got some of the most engagement I've seen on a photo. Where people were like, "Yo, what happened to your mom, bro?" People legit thought your mom's name was Mary. They're like, "I'm yeah. sorry for your loss." You're like, "Yeah, okay." It's like, what? <laughs> that goes. I mean, that just says a lot in of itself, guys. So think about that if you're trying to grow your YouTube channel. Um, all right. So next question is, Jesse, how was the Eve helmets created, and how many were made? We made. I think it was around 11. I think we had just enough for the Brotherhood. But I actually was in Portugal while the helmets were being created. Uh, Uncle Larry and I kind of, we were racking our brains for the longest time. Yeah. How the heck are we going to do this? For a while I wanted product placement deal. You know, work with like Sony or one of these big dogs to craft a special helmet or even Google to make a helmet for the series. That nobody was biting on this because it was such a weird deal that nobody's made before. Um, and then we're like, all right. I bought like a motorcycle helmet. I bought a couple VR helmets. I was trying everything. You bought an oven switch. On I bought, and, and, yeah, oven switch. There's an oven switch at one point. So there's a and few. We used the motorcycle helmet. We did use. Yeah, ended up the, using. Uh, yeah, Paige. Yep, yep. Solomon, <laughs> little girl Solomon was wearing the helmet. Uh, so we got to see that. But yeah, we ended up. I found because I wanted more of them. Motorcycle helmet was like a few hundred bucks to look that cool. So I found these $20 helmets. I think it was like Bo Bozo or Bobo mm -hmm. VR or something. And we, uh, Uncle Larry kind of got to explain that process. Yeah, unfortunately, they came with the brand of them across the front of them. So we had to spray paint the, the fronts yeah. of every single one of them and then put the Eve stickers on. But on the on the top, we we were trying to figure out the switch. Right, Remember? right. And I was so either like, on or off, you know, yeah, ranked, so, unranked switch. So I thought of the toggle switch and then... Uh, I think it was me, you, right? Me, you, and uh, you three. Yeah. yeah, and we just had an assembly line with a little Dremel, drill the hole in there. Oh no, I, I used a regular drill, drill to drill the hole, yeah. and then we just put them through. We had to peel off that little pad and mm -hmm. then put that. Th but I had to cut off the bottom because it had these prongs that stuck out that would have cut everybody's head. Does it actually work? Oh, you guys might have to check yeah. it out. For, does the helmet actually work? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But the ironic, the ironic thing is they made the Eve helmets at the shop, which is where Joseph yeah. and uh, Abraham made that shit. Um, it is real. It is real. <laughs> well, Viv Vivian asks, where did you come up with the idea for My Virtual Escape? I mean, that has been an evolution, but kind of like Leafy was the baseline for Isaac. The core thing was like I wanted to think, I was thinking in terms of you guys. Like, what do the fans want to see? What is 
the future and I was thinking of virtual reality like everyone's into gaming just like the Psycho series like let me let me do VR and then what's this cool story that involves VR It's like well why would you play VR well you want to escape your life everybody wants to escape their life some aspect of it or change things up a bit so I was like that's a really rich storyline I was thinking about Leafy and I'm sure he's depressed wonder what's going on in his life so just asking a lot of questions like being curious like wonder wonder what uh, why somebody would play VR and think of all possible reasons um, and that's kind of how it was born and then it's like a very long process to kind of craft and craft and hone and whittle shit away um, but that's kind of the baseline uh, how many hours collectively did you edit throughout the whole series <laughs> wow. well I spent two days of Hawaii editing guys but um, I'm clearly not bitter about that but I'd say generally I mean season one it, it, things got more intricate as we went along which is cool but I'd say it would take anywhere from maybe 10 hours to like 40 hours of just like actual edit time um, depending on which episode uh, here we go. This one's kind of open. Oh, no, no, never mind. What's been the hardest episode to edit? I'd say Dreaming, the season three premiere, uh, where that whole dream sequence, and uh, I don't know. There was something, if I showed you guys the actual project for that one, it was just, it was a lot for whatever reason. That and uh, the heist, the heist ended up being a lot, as well as Brothers in Arms. Dreaming was an amazing episode, and shout out to McCann's Farm for being so hospitable. To yeah, us. yeah, that was amazing. a crazy night. And then you know when he's uh, when John when John jumps over the table, choking out Judas. And uh, there's just a lot to that episode. It was kind of longer and uh, tricky to edit for whatever reason. Uh, did you ever change the story from Average Escape? Was it always the same? So I there was like a holy bible to it. It kind of had a general overall arc to it and I mean everything changes on the fly I mean you guys are making decisions every episode so naturally it's all organic growth and it's just like evolving and adapting but I, I, I said this with the Sega series and every show like don't think that everything's set in stone even where we're here my favorite show Lost they came up with everything on the fly like you have a general idea for the season or the whole series but everything's come up with as you go because you, you're able to pivot more and you go off of feedback and you might find things along the way that you didn't see until you're now in it like yo let's add that in you so change the character though too uh, yes Tom's uh, character if you guys didn't know uh, Malachi was actually supposed to be played by Uncle Larry's son and uh, Jesse actually hit me up he said uh, Tom didn't want to do it right or yeah. well, like his school well, his schooling wouldn't allow uh, yeah, wouldn't, yeah he wouldn't never had time, time. pretty busy so together. yeah he was pretty busy so I decided hey I'm gonna help him out and yeah. I played Malachi and yeah. I actually had a And you did an awesome job. And there, and there yep. was and it was a similar thing with Dom or Adam's character. I, every there was kind of characters started to come more into their own or even John coming in. Um, it was like let's craft something around them, but I think it's important like it's not a bad thing that things change over time. It's just that uh, you kind of have a better perspective once you're in things and can create a better story on the fly um, than just committing to something you wrote a year ago when you had no idea what the actual production of it was or who was going to be playing who. That's um, one thing. Yeah. Did you? I, I'm not sure, but when me and Melissa went away to Florida January and February, you, I think you told me that you had to change the storyline around to cut yeah. us out. And yeah, originally Solomon, Solomon was supposed to be consistent throughout um and that's what i mean but if, when you think about that that's crazy because then the whole john reign for season two would have never happened and the kind of return of solomon or even mother sarah's death mother sarah was gonna she was always gonna die early on she was always gonna be the first to go but like as far as when it happened shifted <clears throat> so you know whenever people would have different things so like you know so and so is not gonna be around there's always ways to kind of twist it around but that was one of those things that was changed but ended up being Kind of a blessing in disguise where it's like oh guess what now we have some rich new arc to explore and, and that's one of those things just being open to change and open-minded about different things and you'd be surprised of just staying positive and keep going and you come up with some really cool shit. yeah thank you guys for going on vacation <laughs> yeah, that, 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 was pretty yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that had to yeah, had to add to it us it, yeah oh. it ended up being a good thing um so how did you get isaac's sister to be a part of the series. I'm gonna let Mother Sarah take that one. Melissa. <laughs> Isaac's well, little well, sister, uh, well, yeah. Well, it all started, my niece, Antonia, was in the Ursula series. Yeah, you guys, that was Ursula's said, daughter in yeah, Bones she at the my end. Daughter, and he said, could you bring her over here? Well, he hasn't seen her in a while, and she walked in the door and he says, 
What happened to her? She's too big. It was like Molly. Molly was like, I want to be a giraffe. Antonia was like a giraffe. I was like, she looks like she's 15 suddenly. It was too, it was too so old. So that day I drove back home, picked up my younger niece, came back with her, which she turned out to be Hilarious. Perfect, yes. hilarious, natural, yes. and she's well, how old? Like six? She's, she's six. six years old, yes. and you guys, like, I mean, she loves every minute of it. Molly is she was Eve. so happy one episode when Swifty gave her five dollars. Larry was betting with her who could do the better lines, so he gave her money. She said, I have ten dollars, I'm only two dollars short to get an LOL dog. Like what? Like <laughs> she savage. She's she's been great, and I, I can't picture a different Eve. Like it's it's yeah. my little sister. That's that was that's how it is now. Um, yeah. here we go. Uh, Colin asks, what choices by the fans did you dislike the most, and why? Um, uh, I mean, even just right now with the Tangled Web, everybody's voting to to reset the game, mm -hmm. and it's all very much Isaac fueled. I would have liked a little bit more wiggle room, like thinking of Abraham's character. What does Abraham actually want? Who cares what Abraham in? wants? <laughs> <laughs> so like me, I was like, all right, I get it. You want Isaac to be around, but as far as like, I don't know, not caring as much about the other characters uh, is interesting. I wanted to see the milk get thrown at Gingy, hey. not the oranges. So, yeah, so, did I. so I was a little I, upset about that one. I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to think of other big ones. I. I was happy with when everyone chose for me to work with Arachnid as opposed to Michael. Because I probably would have picked the same thing as I thought. You know, it's a more interesting storyline story line if yeah. you go with the bad guy, you know. Yeah. Don't go with the straight man. So. Exactly. <laughs> that shit would have been boring. Um, but you guys picked the rat on John, dude. Why, why'd you rat me out, man? I, I would have been curious. Like, I, I definitely want to rat out John. It was so satisfying. Yeah. But I would have been yeah. curious to see yeah. how the turn there where yeah. Isaac was just like, yeah. I wanted you dead. I, oh. <laughs> I did. He's mafia. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think... For the most part, though, you guys picked some pretty solid decisions. I've I've been I've been pretty content and proud of you guys for for picking the right thing. Um, here we go. It's kind of for Joseph. Uh, why did Mary leave you? And we're talking about Mary one in the beginning. He probably has no clue. But why do you think she left you? She just wasn't satisfied, I guess, with the relationship. <laughs> yeah, why was she satisfied? Yeah, she wanted more. I don't know. We were so uh, business oriented, right? Right, Abraham? Uh, I don't know what your problem no. was. I, know. <laughs> I, th I, I personally think that your problem was is too that... Too controlling? Yeah, you were too controlling. Too controlling, and probably. She wanted to yeah. go and do her own thing, yeah. and I probably wouldn't let her. And she looked so. at me, and, you know... Yeah. There's probably more passion there. Yeah. 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 She liked uh, the dark goatee. Yeah. Like <laughs> the bad beautiful boy. hair. Like the bad yeah, had the boy. beautiful hair like back then. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. I, I, what, what I think it was, was very much like... I mean, after Eve's death... I mean, it's pretty obvious. Like, you can't be around that family anymore. She had to. She had to break away from that and break free. Um, but I also think. I mean, clearly she was confused. I mean, she slept with Abraham at, at a certain point. So I mean, I don't know. It's just, there's a lot of different things, and the fact that maybe Joseph was always around working on Eve and working on VR and like, I just it wasn't for her. I think it just kind of slowly faded and and it didn't work. Um, Chris asked, "What's next, Jesse?" We're gonna talk more about that, but as you can see, like, real Jesse's back. We get to chat, hang out, um, get back to the family stuff, vlogs, that sort of thing. But we'll have more conversations about that soon. Here we go. Caden wants to know what's everyone's favorite character. No. Jesus <laughs> self-nominated himself. Um, I still, I still have to go with Arachnid. I think Arachnid, just the, the depth to the character. It's not. He's the antagonist, but like. I empathize with him at the same time. Like it's such a rich kind of dual, dual-sided thing of Abraham and Arachnid, and like I don't, I don't know. I just think it's a really cool character. What about Mar Aunt Martha? Martha's cool. She's, yeah, yeah. she's got a comic Funny, relief yeah. to her. As far as like the drama, the depth, like the core series, yeah, Arachnid. No one, and but no, no, no one is good too. Yeah. Yeah. Michael was one yeah. of my favorite characters because I just like the good guy, and I like that you know he's he's there. He's always your right hand man for you yep. and, but he would not he would not go away from what was right to do yeah you know I, what i mean i like, think that's the problem i love all these characters like solomon's great rebecca's great malachi's awesome oh, that even jesus bitch. leah yeah. married to adam <laughs> adam, adam John, like all the characters are so i think they're so rich but um 
Yeah, I mean, it's easy. To, the comedic relief characters are easy, like Noah and Great Aunt Martha. It's like and I Solomon mean, was one of my favorite characters too. Yeah, because yeah. there was a goodness. There was a goodness to yeah. it. And with the series so heavy and dark, it's like you really need those characters, mm -hmm. or else it's just I don't. And Adam, I can't. I can't. Adam too. Because yeah, Adam's a light. Adam's yeah. a light. Yeah. So sick, nasty. Um, what would have changed in the story if Isaac had given the XP to Malachi instead of Michael in the beginning? <laughs> that have been interesting. So originally, it's it's so hard dating because there's so many different uh, kind of divulgences of like it's just a diversions. It's like boop. Uh, I, what would happen is it would have made us a little bit more chill. There always would have been the rivalry, but I don't think Malachi would have been as absolutely insanely against Isaac. Yeah, yeah. Because I was always just coming crazy for you. <laughs> yeah, you really? the episode, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, that would have shifted a little bit. And then there were also there would have been more tension with Isaac and Michael, where Isaac would have been very, very anti-cop, so to speak, right. kind of like how he, like in him and Archie, it would have bled into that too, where, where he's more treats Archie like his dad, where he's kind of like fuck off Archie and all that kind of stuff. And Malachi wouldn't have had to steal our XP and then shoot us, me and me and Jesus over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Here's a, here's a question for the whole cast: Would you play Eve if you knew the possible risks and possible reward? Hell yeah. No. Yes. No, you play on rank mode? Legit? Yeah. No. I ain't scared You better hear it tell you. I'll be honest, I haven't seen any reward yet. Yeah. yeah right. so. I would, yeah, yeah right. Haven <laughs> seems like a lie. So. Not, not at all, because I'm happy with my life, so not yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I would play on ranked. I would play on rank mode like Gingy. I would. There was no no yeah. reason to yeah, play exactly. rank mode. Yeah, right. yeah exactly. You're ranked. not going to get the Haven like that, man. Look. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's how you get the Haven. There was, uh, if, if my life was bad uh, and like uh, I was clinging to that wish like Isaac or any other mm -hmm. characters it would make sense so maybe some of you guys would play Eve but I think for a lot of us it would be like uh, like maybe unranked but risk death for that right. wish yeah. that's that's ballsy especially if you don't know you're going to get it or yeah. not <laughs> just remains to be seen I'll just play God of War and Heart or something alright this is a question <laughs> this is a question for Genji but it, it sounds like it was framed for everybody it's actually a question for Swift um, oh, do you feel like this series has been your best camera work ever yeah but uh there are certain things i may have not shot that everybody loved but yeah i, I really think my camera skills improved from getting to to where we're at now i think we could all i think we collectively agree on that swift yeah. swift yeah. swift came into this series yeah. kind of underdog in real life yeah. and yeah we we had our doubts and everything but he came and he delivered the whole series so like we're proud of you swift he also came and, also the drone shots have been killer the drone the drone so <laughs> that's a real specialty and i think i think just like from a production standpoint as far as like what would i go back and rewatch? i'd rewatch my real escape a million times just because like uh everything's shot really well and the drone stuff really adds mm -hmm. that that flavor to it um we're actually going to cut it real quick because the camera's about to tap out uh we'll take it back in a sec and we're back guys sorry People are uh, getting older now. We got empty the bladders. Um, <laughs> we're also a lot of copious amounts of alcohol on this uh, trip. Hope you guys have your questions answered. If you have more questions, I can do a live stream. I'll be live streaming a lot more. I'll be real life Jesse for now on until the next thing happens or whatever. So maybe in the vlogs, I might ask some questions for whatever for while we're still coming off of my virtual escape. But guys, we're gonna enjoy our last day here in Hawaii. Um, and we still have some stuff to shoot, but we're going to Luau tonight. We're gonna have some fun. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. If you guys want to see more stuff like My Virtual Escape or even Psycho Series or the game or anything, subscribe for more. And if you guys actually want to be a part of Rigid Studios, we're always looking for help here. Always looking for help because we got some new faces here and that's been incredible. So if you guys are interested, hit me an email. Tweet, tweet at me it's in the comments. But don't make it about you. If you really want to be interested, you got to say what you can bring to our, uh, the table here. And then we can talk and do make create awesome things together. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe more content. Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. We got multiple channels, my social media. We got we got uh, J Game. We got the Regenerative Squad or one of. One of. Got, <laughs> there might even be a, 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 a Karina channel. Like I, that, this is a big Stay brother. And a Candice channel. And a Candice oh. channel. Uh, all kinds of channels. Wait, we got John Haggerty vlogs. No. We got. Nothing. We got nothing. <laughs> we got no, no, we got nothing. But we do some channels, guys. Subscribe to them. There's gonna be all Not kinds of chilling and yeah, chilling and grilling, and obviously Larry's Lounge. Um, you guys already should be subscribed. To yeah, that, yeah, so. yeah. You if you're not, that. I'm <laughs> genuinely confused. Yeah, yeah. But guys, stupid mother. <laughs> <laughs> somebody get that tattooed. Um, but guys, there's so many channels. There's gonna be a lot of Hawaii videos coming out around this time. So be sure to check those out and uh, kind of get the full experience. It's really cool. And uh, also, Swift is a channel, but he's not allowed to post anymore because we all have him because he, he's he's with. He's 
he's with Team Ridge Studios now. But if yeah, you guys really nice love, too. but if you guys really love the vlogs going forward, you might find that Swift's editing those and they're really cut together well. So if you guys want to see Swift's life work, make Juggernauts is the way there to go. go. We're a studios now. We're a team, yeah. buddy. We're a team. Uh, I kind of gotta keep the camera. Oh! oh! All right, Jays. Love you all to death, and Aloha. don't forget to Aloha. keep it rigid. Bye. Aloha. Bye. 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 Look at that view. Look at that view. Bye. Fade away that way, Swift. Uh, bye. Bye. Uh, bye. Hold on, hold on. It's not focused. Oh, oh, there we go. Now we can see the ocean. Oh, look how nice that is.